Hello everyone, this is Mark Corbett with Survival Bushcraft and Emergency Preparedness. Here with part two to uh, our anchors video in our knots category. Uh, we made it outside. Uh, part one, we covered how to uh, make the anchor. Uh, now today we're going to come outside here. We got halfway decent weather. Uh, I do ask you to forgive the wind. I can't do anything about it. Uh, we've had winds in uh, 40, 50 plus mile an hour for the past two days with no end in sight. But it's slowed down to about 35 today, so overall I guess can't complain. So anyways, here it comes again. Uh, we're going to try to do this quick. Uh, we're going to do a strength test on this. We're gonna see, uh, I want to show you guys how strong this is. and. Uh, We'll see what happens, all right? So uh, real quick here, I'm gonna show you how to do this. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this V-shape, I'm gonna lay it onto the ground, and I'm gonna distribute it out evenly for my stake down points. I'm gonna start in the front, leaving this middle one open. I'm gonna spread them out so that they're, they're straight up, they're taut, all right? One. Remember, these guys have to be equal. When you distribute the weight, the force of the load, that's the idea and the key to this for it to properly work. So you see what I'm doing here is I'm putting my finger in this front one, I'm pulling it all tight, all taut, all the way down. Okay. Going back and forth. From one to the other, making sure everything is right. Okay. Other end good. And this is pretty fairly soft soil right here. I would not recommend using this on rocky soil. The more rocky it is, the more chance you have of giving away. Okay, so what we got here now, guys, is this. Yeah, the idea of this is you're going to be pulling outward, and these stakes are on the ground. You're going to be pulling against them. All six of them are going to be pulling together, helping the one in front of it to hold you to support the weight all right so I've got this here this is my hook on point we'll take my rope this rope is rated at 244 pounds it's not anything super strong but we're going to use it anyways it's all I've got on this particular one I believe I'm going to use a barrel knot Slipping a, a sliding barrel knot. We covered these as well in previous videos. There we go. And of course, I'm going to lock it with a uh, half hitch. For added security. Pull her on down good and tight. Alright. Now we're ready to put some weight on it. I put my gloves on. My hands are real raw. This thing's just going to tear them up even worse. I need my gloves. Hang in there. I strongly suggest to all of you guys, when you do start using rope like this and doing these kinds of things, carry a piece of good gloves. Now ideally you might want to use a carabiner. Put a couple of these in your kit. You won't be sorry. Okay? Alright, I've got some weight now. Alright. 
can go in and uh, I have six points you can go eight and go ten you can use however big a one you want you just saw an example of doing 400 pounds of combined weight on the end of this thing so okay guys so I relocated and uh, I moved to another location here and I've reset my my uh, multiple point ground anchor okay and you can see all this or not with the sun but uh what we're going to try to do now is i'm going to do another strength test on this and uh first i'm going to make sure my stakes are in tight all the way in everything's snug i don't want that anchor loop coming loose all right now what i've done here is i'm going to hit some Uh, what this is is uh, an old chokeberry uh, tree stump. I love this wood. Uh, simple fact is, when it's dried out like this, it's uh, it burns really, really nice. It uh, gives out really nice heat, and it actually burns quite a while. It's a good long burner. Good stuff. But anyways, uh, what I've done here, I want to pull these things out of the ground, and it's hard to hook this up. And we're going to attempt to pull this out through leverage with that anchor holding everything in place, okay? So, I'll we'll put you on the tripod. I'm gonna hook up to this. Um, if I can't do it myself, I'm gonna pull my couple of my kids over here. Uh, let's see, there's Jesse. Uh, Jesse, go get Johnny back out here. Just in case we need you guys. Hurry up, buddy. All right, so uh, hang in there. I'm gonna put you on the tripod and uh, see what happens. And once again, please forgive the wind. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, it's South Dakota. <laughs> So, hang in there. All 
you guys. testimony to the strength of this freaking knot. Nice, right out of the ground. It was already partially dead, but it was too tight for me to pull out with just my arms. I even tried kicking it, couldn't get it. So, there you go. Okay, guys, in conclusion to this, um, what I want to do here real quick is I've got my boys here, and I'm actually uh, showing them, and you guys now, the proper process on on unhooking this thing on pulling it out of the ground obviously we know that you cannot pull against this thing all right we put hundreds of pounds on it and uh it doesn't give okay but here's the thing it's very simple to take out out of the ground all you do is pull backwards on it you're going to start at each stake okay johnny you could start first right there pull each stake and pull it up straight up and back How easy that is. Okay. Up, straight up, and back. There you go. Okay. Yep, there you go. So, there it is. This little guy right here. Tremendously valuable. I mean, we pulled tree stumps out with it as an anchor. Okay. We put over 400 pounds of human body weight on it. It handled that too without any issues whatsoever. All right, so there you go. Multiple point ground anchor. Hope you guys like. Send me some comments. Thanks. Take Bye. care.